A Delaware County community is coming together, rallying around a local family after a tragedy. Sky Fox over the streets of Broomall there, and there you can see, you see all that blue there? House after house lit up in blue to show support for the young family, grieving the sudden loss of their beautiful toddler son. While the exact cause of his death is still not known, Chris, the tragedy has touched this whole community. Yeah, Jason, this is a tough one. Much of this Delaware County community is draped in blue tonight. Homes, businesses here at the Broomall Fire Company, all going blue for Benny to support a local family who lost so much so fast. We don't want any of this. We don't need any of this. I just want my buddy back. It's hard to fathom the depths of the grief and sadness Eric and Natalie Petransky are going through, let alone talking publicly about that loss. And my world just kind of changed instantly. Last Wednesday, the unimaginable happened to the Brumall family. Their seemingly healthy, blue-eyed two-year-old son, Benny, had come down with a fever. By the next morning, he stopped breathing. Didn't even touch my coffee. And, and 7, 7.15, I heard her scream my name, and I could tell right away it was something bad. Paramedics were called, but it was too late. Then he passed away in their family home last Thursday. Doctors believe it was some sort of fast-moving fatal virus, but they won't know for sure for weeks. There was not a sign that there was something wrong with this beautiful kid. This kid was dancing in the shower and I four hours, five hours before that. With his, with his daddy. In an instant, their world turned upside down and having the difficult task of trying to find the words to tell Benny's five-year-old big brother, Ari. I have to be strong for Ari because he keeps saying, I don't understand, wipe your tears, mom, it's gonna be okay. I don't want him to think that I'm not strong for him. As word got out about the sudden loss, something beautiful happened. You can see the community support from the sky, from family, friends, neighbors, and businesses going blue for Benny. Honoring Benny's blue eyes, they're making sure this family knows the community has their back. In fact, the family got more support. A meal train page was set up through Eric's colleagues in the real estate business. In three days, donors have raised more than $120,000 in money and meals for the family. If they're not alone. That's kind of the message we're trying to send is you're not by yourself. We all, we all feel your grief and um, we just want to honor this baby. Now as the Petranskys wait for more answers of how their youngest son died, today, mom and dad got matching tattoos to honor their son and begin life without him. I don't know what next week will hold. I don't know what next year will hold. 10 years, 20 years, but it's not, it won't, won't ever go away. Well, back out here live, more blue here in the Broomall Fire Department. Little Benny will be laid to rest on Wednesday. And on Friday, his parents have been told Lincoln Financial Field will be lit up and draped in blue. They say the only boy, not a cowboy, that can turn Kelly Green into blue. Guys. No words, huh? Well, not just Broomall showing their support. Clearly, this family story has made their way all across the Delaware mm -hmm. Valley here, and our hearts are with the family yes. tonight, Chris. Uh, Chris, thank you very much. And, and as he mentioned, the fundraiser for the Petransky family, there is one. If you'd like to help out, you can find a link to it on our website, fox29.com.